All right, we have arrived at Taipei Main Station. This station is a very complicated station because there's a lot of intersecting lines, there's a lot of exits and entrances, there's a lot of uh, different platforms. So you really have to study the map properly. There is uh, maps for you to navigate your exit. Mainly in Mandarin, there's also English um, translation. But the first tip is always ask the station control staff. They are always helpful. They, are, they will provide you some direction. There's a lot of lines with different colors, so they will guide you through. Just look for certain colors, certain stations. Uh, they have lockers here to leave your luggages like temporarily. 10,000 Tikam machines. <laughs> this is quite excessive Tikam machines, right? Who would be? Who would need so many Tikam machines at one time? Now it's time to get some dinner. There is a beef noodle down on the right side of this street. So I finished everything, cleaned the bowl, then hungry, and I ate with this raw garlic. Coming in now. Hello. Wow, the beef place is not bad, not bad. It's uh, highly ranked on Google review, right? We finished our, or I finished my bowl of noodles in record time. <laughs> 10 minutes because there's a lot of people coming in and out, like eyeing on your seat. No, they didn't eye the seat, they were just waiting for the seats, uh, politely. Yeah, I think so. But the auntie was aggressive. She's so good at selling her bowls of noodles. We had our few, so now we need to go and see what else we can explore. Maybe a massage or a night market. Perhaps. We are just done with massage and now we are at Si Wen Ting checking out the crowd. Good morning everyone. It's a rather wet morning. Temperature I think is about 14 to 19. I have a jacket and I have a heat tag inside myself. So I'm gonna get some breakfast nearby. Let's go. Now I am at Songsan Station going to get some lunch.
this will be the underground shopping street under the Taipei main station. Lots of shops here to check out. Morning. I'm joining this bicycle tour activity, cycling around the city, looking at its history, that sort of thing. Okay, see you. Okay, so this is the bike shop I'm looking for. It's a Taipei Bike Works. Dot com. So we are going to go to breakfast first. Here's the route that we're going to take today. Uh, we're going to go through four districts. This is Ta Tong. This is where we're at right now. So we do ride it. There's uh, this little little switch right here. You can just turn it this way, and now you can ride freely. Now this is very important. There's only one brake. Three gears. So we got one uh, for 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 just you know very easy pedaling. Two is for a little bit faster, but a little bit harder to pedal. Three is for like downhills. What I like to do is kind of keep my fingers covering the brakes the whole time. All right, we just started, uh, and uh, it's interesting bike. There's only one brakes on the right side. There's no brake on the left side. But there's a bell. I'm trying to get used to it first. The you know, handles are not my usual kind of handles, so I'm using my right hand to control the steering. We're going for breakfast. I'll see you there. So we just had our breakfast. We're gonna take a walk around the morning market. There's a lot of food stuff, a lot of poultry, vegetables, all sorts of, all sorts of pastry. To the four rooms, and it'll drop off an instant stick in each room. Watch the light, careful. The only one that's kind of left, um, kind of in its original form, was the, was the, uh, the North Gate. And they have a little museum outside. Okay, I guess I'm getting the hang of it. Riding it in one hand. I'm <laughs> wrapping very tight. Okay, here we go. 80 something steps here. It reads Zhong Zhen Ji Nian Tang. Something's going on. So behind me is the statue of a uh, late president of Taiwan, Jiang Jie Shi. So they had a ceremony with the soldiers marching and all that. But it looks very impressive and you have to keep very quiet when you enter the ceremony process.
the ceremony happened <laughs> I couldn't believe it it happened on an hourly basis every day except for, for Chinese New Year so those guys that were marching going through the ceremony earlier uh, they are like uh, national men national service men or regulars from the Navy Army or even the Air Force I still cannot believe it they perform such a, a serious and, and formal ceremony on a daily hourly basis to honor the late president Jiang Jie Shi as most foreigners myself would know him as but locally he has another name called Jiang Zhong Zhen military rain everything um, so that all happened because of T28 in February 28th 1947 Westgate, and there is see one thing. Now back to the narrow streets and pavements. Starbucks. These are flood walls because Taipei City uh, used to experience floods. Uh, it's like a bowl, it's like a small basin, so they need these flood walls. So we got about 100 miles of this. So the cycling path we are now on is about 100 miles long. It's along the coastal area. Visit myself is the new Taipei city. This is 100 miles for you, more than enough for me. So I'm just enjoying the wind and the bike. <laughs> it's quite easy to ride once you get the hang of it. But I cannot say too early. <laughs> route you can cycle all the way to Tan Shui. If you take the Jie Yun, it's going to take you. It's going to be a number of stops before you get to Tan Shui. Uh, yeah, because there was a... Um, I'm sorry? Ha La Tong. Off? Uh, it was around... So we are finally back to our starting point at the park. So uh, here say there is a pretty good life band here, Easy Life House. I'm gonna check it out. Very nice exterior. <laughs> 